everybody, Donut here. Have you met my friend Dave? What that was was a wall of protesters that they were they were setting up around the checkpoints to get into the Trump inauguration, and Dave just wanted to go to the inauguration. <laughs> Anti-Trump people building a wall. I posted the video the other day of all the protesters breaking windows and smashing that limo up, spray painting stuff, assaulting people, and a lot of people wondering what happened to all the protesters. The ones I'm talking about were the ones in the uh, the black skinny jeans and uh, the black hoodies and wearing the face masks and uh, bandanas and schmogs over their heads. Well, it turns out over 200 of them were arrested, and I found a few videos today that pieced together shows exactly how the police set up a trap for them, and it's pretty awesome. All right, so we're going to start it off right here, and you'll see the police coming in from this side, pushing the protesters this way, and it, it honestly looks like a, a battle scene out of the movie 300. So these police have riot shields and they're just not messing around. And what they're trying to do by running right there is just push the protesters down the street some. And of course they're throwing some uh, some flashbangs, maybe a little bit of tear gas here and there, just to push those uh, those those protesters down the street. All right, so now over here, you'll see the police officers that were running down the street, and they're pushing them a little bit further down the street this way, and you'll see why here in just a second. And if you couldn't tell, these are the guys with the black skinny jeans that were tearing up everything in the videos I put out the other day. All right, so if you pay attention right here, you'll see the police swing out and block the whole street off. Look, look, at, look at these young revolutionaries right here. But as you can see, all the police have successfully blocked them in from this side. So you have the riot police on one side, then you have these police on this side. break through right now through these guys Sorry, three. all right you hear that the riders are going to try to break through the police and what they're going to do is they're going to run to this corner over here just remember that corner because we're going to watch a video shot from this corner over here here in a second and you got the police officers using a little bit of pepper spray trying to keep them back the national guardsmen they're sitting over there like this is awesome all right, here are all these bags about to make their push to try and get through the police. Like I said, make sure you wear skinny jeans when you uh, when you come to a riot. It's a very very important thing to wear. Don't, don't go anywhere. Go? Don't go anywhere they won't let you out. Oh, here they go. <laughs> Pick up your fallen comrades. The push didn't work very well. <laughs> Look at this kid. <laughs> My revolution. Mom's gonna kill me now. But I thought I could destroy property and get away with it. <laughs> Very severely right there. Holy cow. Get up here real All right, so like I said, remember this corner right here because we're going to watch a video that was shot from that corner. So here's the video shot from this corner where they tried to make their charge. And a few of them might have got away, but you can see a few dozen police officers in the background chasing those people down. Back it up, back it up, back it up. 
This dude's not playing around right here. See the police running off and getting the other ones. If you can't have skinny jeans, though, make sure that your hair is blue and purple for the riots. And that's that corner over here. This is across the street. So they successfully caught, I don't know, probably about 100 of them right there. And for the people that are going to say, well, the police were too militaristic in this. They didn't have to do that. They, they did have to do this. I mean, they didn't want to be out there away from their families dealing with these heads. But as soon as you start destroying hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of property and throwing rocks and other shit at police officers they're they're not going to play around with you they're going to arrest you they're going to they're going to trap you like this pepper spray you and arrest you if you want to peacefully protest that's awesome but if you're going to act like these guys did this this is what happens hey dave what do you think about this I don't give a well said dave hey dave what about the hashtag disrupt j20 I don't give a so altogether, around 230 people were arrested and charged with felony rioting. So what's your opinion on how the police handled this? Let me know in the comments below. You can check out my other YouTube videos at youtube.com slash donut operator official. Everyone have a nice day.